there are as many ways to motivate students as there are students. But Blackboard has a tool called Achievements, which allows instructors to create badges which students can earn. Achievements reward progress and encourage growth by focusing students on goals. Depending on the type of achievements you want to set up, they can be a very simple way to add an element of gamification to your course. You can also set up more complex achievements that can be awarded manually at your discretion. To create achievements, go to Course Tools and choose Achievements. This will open the Achievements page. Hover over Create Achievement, and you will be given three options. Course completion is, as you might infer, an award given at the end of the course. These awards are in the form of certificates. It can be awarded upon completion of the exam, if the exam is given on Blackboard, or upon completion of the final assignment in the course. Milestone is an award that can be linked to passing a test, completing a unit, reviewing material for a test, or any number of other milestones in completing the course. These awards are in the form of icons called badges. Custom allows you to create achievements using certificates or badges. They all work essentially the same way, so let's create a milestone achievement. First, the achievement needs a name. The name could describe the goal, score 90% or better on test one. If it's a completion badge, it could be the name of the unit completed. It could be more creative. Next, we choose where the achievement will be located. Browse your course and choose the folder that holds material associated with the achievement. You can make the achievement visible to students as a goal or hidden. The next step is to define the triggers. The rules you define on this page will govern the release of your achievement. You must choose at least one rule. Triggers can include dates, specific groups or students, grades, or content review. If you choose a date, the student must complete the material associated with the achievement by a certain date, at which time they will be awarded the achievement. Membership allows you to manually award achievements to a specific student or group of students. For example, you could have an achievement for most insightful comment on a discussion board. You could manually trigger that award by browsing the course for a student or students to be awarded. They will automatically receive the achievement once it's created. To use grades as a trigger, choose a grade center column and then choose the specific condition. Will the achievement be unlocked by attempting the item or by a certain score on the item? Lastly, review status awards an achievement for marking a section as having been reviewed by the student. On the next page, use your name as the issuer and then choose an icon to use as a badge. Note that there is an option to browse local files. This allows you to add your own images to serve as badges. Once it's created, you can see who has earned the badge on the far right. In order for your students to easily view the badges they've earned, it's also a good idea to create a special tool link by using the plus sign at the top of the column on the left. Hover over the plus sign and choose Tool Link. Give it a name like Achievements. Then choose Achievements from the drop down menu. Make sure that you mark Available to Users. Now, students can check their achievements.